Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. These are the announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for Christmas Day. Uh, this this year, Christmas falls on a Sunday. So uh, this will be posted on Friday, the 23rd, uh, and we'll put in the announcements about Christmas Eve and Christmas Day uh, in the event that some of you are watching it ahead of time. Uh, but to all of you, Merry Christmas. I hope that this video finds you in faith, it finds you well, uh, and that you have gotten a sense again of the great love of God for you, that God would empty God's self and take the form of a slave for you. So Merry Christmas. Uh, we, uh, we have uh, on Christmas Eve, we're back to the pre-COVID schedule. We have two services. We have a five o'clock service indoors at Peace, and we have a 10 o'clock service indoors at Nelsonville. In both cases, it's the same sermon, now the same service. Uh, so if you come from a different church or a different tradition where you know the family service was different than the midnight mass, um, no, it's the same service both times, but the feeling is very different. The five o'clock tends to be uh, most of our families, most of our children it so it's 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 chaotic and it's vibrant and it's fun and it's loud uh, and it's it's just it's just wonderful uh, and then the 10 o'clock service is wonderful in a very different way the 10 o'clock service is serene and quiet and peaceful and contemplative uh, and so uh, you decide which flavor makes the most sense for you uh, on Saturday that you would come uh, again both cases candlelight both cases communion will be offered uh, you can come to the table of the Lord and, and have your sins forgiven. Uh, and so that I, I hope that you take advantage of, of coming to one of those. The Sunday services this year, because it's Christmas, uh, there's not going to be a, a sermon. Uh, there is a, uh, it's lessons and carols uh, that we're going to go through the, the, the lessons about the birth of Christ. And we're going to sing about 37 uh, of our favorite Christmas carols. Uh, just get them out of our system for another year. Enjoy them. Uh, and uh, and enjoy the, the time together. So, um, you know, if you come to Christmas Eve, know that Christmas Day is very different. It is the last Sunday of the uh, of the of this season on which we'll have the three Sunday services. Now, the, there will be an outdoor service on Christmas Day. It looks to be spectacularly cold. Uh, we're talking about a still air temperature of zero uh, and wind chills of 20 below. Uh, so, you know, if you want to come and uh, and enjoy that with me that would be great uh, people ask sometimes if they can bring a, you know uh, an ice tent yeah you can bring an ice tent you can bring whatever you want uh, but uh, do bundle up uh, you know the everything you got uh, because it's going to be cold out there uh, we're also having the uh, the same service carols and, and hymns uh, indoors at peace at 8 30 and indoors at nelsonville at 10 15 and uh, usually uh, there aren't a whole lot of people there. People figure they got all the church they needed on Christmas Eve. Uh, but again, I do want to welcome you uh, and, and invite you uh, to join me in going through the story another time and singing all those wondrous hymns. Um, all right, other things that we should talk about. The prayer list. Uh, we're continuing to pray uh, for Olivia's family and friends in their distress, in their loss. Um, we are grateful to God uh, for a little baby born named Liv, uh, was born on the 19th, and we are tremendously grateful for that. Um, we are also grateful that Rin uh, is in remission from his multiple myeloma. Uh, and so thanks be to God for those blessings. Now, after the, uh, the prayer list was printed, uh, we we got news uh, of a man connected to the parish who is in chemo for prostate cancer and so I'd ask that you would uh, would write that in uh, until it's added to next week's list the rest of the people on the list though uh, we've seen before we've talked about before and I do invite you to uh, to faithfulness uh, both in praying for them and as you have opportunities uh, to meeting their needs and to caring for them uh, remember that uh, the everything that we do online 
online is available on DVDs for people who don't have an online presence. So if there's someone in your life that, uh, that could benefit uh, from the confirmation lessons or the sermons or the announcements or the Sunday school lessons, we're sending out 15 or 16, I think, DVDs every week. We can certainly make it 16 or 17. Uh, let us know uh, how we can be of service. Uh, again, if you're in the hospital or if someone you know is in the hospital, you've got to let us know. Uh, the days of the hospital calling us are over. Those days are past. Uh, now it's just, uh, you know, HIPAA rules and confidentiality, uh, and it doesn't matter uh, the spiritual needs of, of anybody. So uh, we're delighted to walk with you, to pray with you, to visit you, uh, but we do need to know that you're there. Lutheran Road Relief continues its fundraiser, uh, spurred on by a, uh, a generous gift from Nelsonville, church uh, of $206,000 so far and counting uh, and uh, challenging the whole world to, uh, to, to join us uh, to receive matching funds uh, for Lutheran Road Relief for their general funds. There are a whole lot of people suffering in places other than Ukraine. Uh, and while we're going to keep working in Ukraine, we're going to keep uh, meeting the needs there. We also need to meet the needs uh, of others around the world. Confirmation classes are canceled for that Wednesday between uh, Christmas and New Year's. I think it's the 28th. I think so. Um, but um, whatever that whatever that date is, that week confirmation classes are canceled. We're back on January 4th at Peace, Parables of Jesus about prayer. Remember, confirmation is a public ministry of the church. Anyone. Uh, can watch the videos, anyone can submit questions, anyone can show up and fight with me, either in person at the discussion group uh, or online. Uh, you know, it would be quite a thing for the confirmands to see the adults of the church digging into the faith, asking questions, trying to understand. Uh, and so uh, just a, a reminder that that is open and available to you. Um, Sunday school is not being held on Christmas Day the 25th, nor are Sunday school classes being held on January 1st, New Year's Day. Uh, we'll pick up again on the 8th, uh, and then we'll go forward from there. There are a whole lot of other announcements below this video that I uh, trust that you'd read on your own and that uh, I'm happy to answer questions about. Uh, but just uh, as a final word, you know, Christmas is a season of giving and receiving gifts, and I consider our connection, our joint work to be a great gift and an honor. And so I wish you well. I hope that you uh, are, are, are well and that you're living in faith. And I look forward to seeing you, to hearing from you. And I am grateful for your prayers and for your support. You take care. Bye-bye.